So hello guys welcome back to the channel and this video will cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and wait for the provisioning resources to get completed. Once it is ready you have to just open the console incognito window and this will be an extensive step by step guide so stay tuned for it. Now if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Further pre-assessment school badges and lab free courses you can check the description box of this video. Now simply here click on I understand. Here just activate the cloud shell. Click on it and click on continue and then just authorize yourself and then we'll follow each thing step by step. Do not worry about it. Click on continue. And here another pop up will come. You have to just authorize yourself. Now here it will take some time. So finally our CLI is now ready. Now first of all come to task number one. From here, here you can see. Yes. We have to first of all explore the project command. Once it is done, now we have to create a keyring management key. You have to simply paste one command one by one as I am doing just follow the video. Now export the keyring key id. Now again move to the next step. Create the service account. Now if you get any kind of error in any task just repeat the command again. And then you will be able to move it. Now let me increase the font size. Now from here we have to create a sql instance so first of all export the values after that export the ip and then just run to create cloud sql instance probably now here if you get any kind of basically to if you are asked to enter y basically sometimes do you want to continue type y and then hit enter now it will take some time so wait for it now here to enable this check my progress you can see yellow check my progress bar i have shared the video link in the description you can check it out now wait for the instance to get created it will take some time so wait for it
So it is done. Check the score for task number one. Now run the second command. Basically, we are just patching it. So here, basically, you have to just type y again and confirm and continue. So come back again to the cloud shell and just type y and hit enter. Now here we have to move to the SQL section and then restart the instance. So how will restart? First of all, copy the SQL and on the search box you have to just type it and just open the SQL product. Click on it and then we have to basically restart it. So you can minimize the cloud shell also and remove this unwanted pop-up too. So just stay tuned as I am doing, I am showing you how you have to do it. Now as you can see it is finally done. Now we have to just minimize that and restart the instance. Okay, restart the instance. Let me show you how you have to do it. Just follow as I am doing and you will be able to complete this task. So of all remove this unwanted pop-up click on this wait a second click on this instance id okay just click on it and then simply you have to just click on restart which will be present on the top only so here on the top you can see restart option is there you have to just click on it and just restart it now it simply wait for the instance to get restarted you can see here now it's showing this restarting option once it will be done it will show checkbox in green color so just wait for it to get completed then we'll move forward to the next step of this lab Now here you can clearly see the basically SQL instance is restarted now. Now let's follow the next step of this lab. Basically we will connect the instance to our cloud shell and basically one more important thing I wanted to share while pasting the password. Many of you are asking that password is not visible, password is not unable to paste it. Basically the pass is visible not. Okay it is invisible. You have to just copy it and paste it directly and hit enter. You will be signed in. So let me show you how you have to do it. You scroll down and here you will be see open the cloud shell. Just click on it and hit enter. Okay. Just hit enter. What I did? I have clicked on open on the cloud shell. And then hit enter. Now from here we have to just run this thing. And here is the pass. So basically while pasting the password. You need to make sure that that it won't be visible over here okay it won't be visible you have to just paste and hit enter i am repeating because many of you are facing this kind of issue only so now just wait for it to get connected and then we'll paste the password here we have to paste the pass and then hit enter okay it won't be visible it will look like this only you have to use it Control c and then paste and hit enter once you see this kind of thing that means you are carefully signed in and then you have to just paste it again from here carefully select it make sure there is no extra content added and just paste and hit enter now again you can see you are connected then we have to just run the next query and we are done with this now we have to enable the audit logs admin read data write and data write so first of all just copy this and paste over here and from here just click on audit logs page on a new tab and basically here we have to just enable these three permissions in the cloud sql so just stay tuned and let's complete it i know this video is a little bit lengthy but if you want to complete it early only i have shared the short video also previously this is for the people who want to just go step by step in detailed manner so make sure to give a like and do subscribe the channel now here we do not need the cloud shell so you can just close it also or you can minimize it also but let's close it because the shell is already opened in previous tab now from here just type cloud sql or you can just copy from the lab instruction too 
now from here just click on this checkbox enable all these permissions and just simply save it you have to just simply save it and once it is updated you can see all these three checkbox now come over here to cloud shell and from here first of all if it got disconnected reconnect it now click on this plus icon and here basically we have to run this command so carefully run this command and hit enter it will take some time so wait for it run the this command only this command number two command on the second shell okay they have mentioned on the second shell so just run it like this over here and once it is completed you have to come to the first shell okay just come to the first shell and then run this query come to the first shell wait for this to get completed and then we'll move to the first shell you can clearly see it is completed now come to the first shell and first of all run this query carefully run this query and hit enter now run the first query and to basically here you can see we have to run all the three queries mentioned over here okay now to exit what you need to do press Q okay press Q now here you can see this is our SQL database so here basically we need to open the logs explorer so just copy this log explorer and from here just search over it right click over here and open any new tab you can do it like this or just open here directly too there is no issue so just open it again if it is not opened wait for some more time get this kind of pop-up just so first of all remove this pop-up by clicking on x icon so carefully replace it basically remove the unwanted pop-up over here basically here we have to run one query so just first of all remove it and just paste the query over here here simply you have to just paste the query and run the query and basically you have to just check the score now chances are there you may not get the full score because we have made one basically we failed to run all the three queries we have run only one query you can see here three queries are here so just copy the second query over here come to the cloud shell first shell and just paste over here again press q then copy the third query wait for a second press q and then again paste it then press q q button i am saying you have to press q now all these three queries are done you can see here we have to just run q to close the results they have mentioned on the number six you can see here so now this thing is done now come back again and check the score for this particular task you will get the score without any issue there is no need to worry about it now here we have to add permissions for that you have to just copy this query sorry command and come to the second shell paste over here and hit enter now again you have to just add a principle so how to add this rule you can see here we have to come to the user's instance okay i am showing you how you have to do it do not worry about it and basically first of all minimize it and from here only you can see this is our instance okay here only we have to add permission so how we will navigate first of all you can read it they are asking to just come to the user section you can see in the navigation section there is a user section okay just just below to the connections option you can see over here let me show you that in the connection section they have mentioned that in the primary instance under user section we have to click on user panel and add this so just click on it and from here you have to just click on add a user account now for the username copy the name carefully click on add user and just paste the name over here and just click on I am sorry click on cloud I am and paste the principle over here okay now click on add now this thing is successfully done now here in the same shell where our basically the instance was connected sorry cloud SQL was connected so come over here and from here just wait for the 
editing to get progress and then just come to the overview section and basically we have to just reconnect the instance once the editing is completed so that the updates are properly populated so you need to wait for it to get completed so you have to just wait and click on once it is green tick just click on open cloud shell hit enter and also just remove it now here again we have to enter the password which we have done earlier so for the password it is clearly mentioned over here you have to just select it copy carefully make sure there is no extra space or dot and once it asks we'll paste it i repeat there is no basically when you will paste it it won't be shown over there you have to just paste and hit enter and then we'll move forward to the next step so just stay tuned and just wait for the instance to get ready and here it will take some time so basically here it is done now paste it and hit enter now here you can see when you will paste it and hit enter it will basically this is the password if in case you haven't copied it paste it now just copy it and paste again now again same pass is here so just paste it hit enter now this thing is done now just grant all the permissions and come over here and just export the value and then you have to just test it and run the query so here you can see we have got the score sorry got the output and here we are getting permission error now this is how we completed the lab if you want to enable the check for progress you can check the description box of this video do like the video and subscribe the channel guys if you face any issue you can let me know in the comment section join our telegram channel do subscribe the channel and if you face any issue as i said earlier you can let me know in the comment section Thank you guys have a great day ahead complete all the games all the playlists are live just check the master sheet in the description